play the tournament. He's playing Omnitel against Peter Ingram, playing Bug Delver. Ingram, top eight at Grand Prix Miami. Also just won a PTQ last weekend. So he's going to Honolulu. Yeah. Good on him. He's going to start for the Delver Secrets off an underground sea. A Baseju who shelters all. As you see, Ingram's going to take a look. We will do the same. What a wonderful Kamigawa rare that is. I mean, it does what it needs to do, but it is sloppy at doing that job. Oh, man. You have to take two damage every time you want to make mana with it. But it does make your instants and sorceries uncounterable. So not the worst. It probably will get wastelanded here. <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> You're telling me you haven't right. resolved a scapeshift through that thing? I don't believe you. No, I definitely have cast scapeshift with that say, card. I know that's you have. That's great. Inger going to come across for one here after wasteland the Baseju. His Delver did not flip just yet. There's a Deathrite Shaman, and Ingram is off to a very, very nice start as Mize does draw a card for the turn. It is a copy of Lotus Petal. Now, of course, the Omnitel deck, the goal here is to get an Omniscience into play, and then your opponent basically dies. But the trick is how do you do that? Dream Halls is one way, uh, but Show and Tell is the best way. Yeah, so he actually is running a little bit of a different list than you'd normally see. He has four Lotus Petals in his main and actually does not play any copies of Enter the Infinite in his wow, deck. Okay. So he is on a little bit, I, I believe what he's doing with Omniscience is he's not drawing his whole deck and releasing the Ants. Instead, he's just, he plays three Intuitions and three Cunning Wishes. So when he gets an Omniscience in play, he's planning on just finding a Cunning Wish, it looks like, and well, or, or actually he has four Emrakuls. I think he's just planning on casting Emrakul. Well, he tried to move in there. The Lotus Petal was going to allow him to cast a turn to show and tell, but a daze makes that very difficult. Now, again, Ingram not able to flip his Delver, but it's a good thing he had that daze for that show and tell, or this game may have been over really before it even started. Yeah, I think Logan has to take that risk there. Especially Absolutely. If, you know, it might be that his hand has no other game besides that. I mean, I have really found it with these show and tell decks against Delver strategies, long the weight, the worse it gets. Especially with this Besage getting wastelanded. Yeah, well, that's what can be really scary is that a turn one Delver puts a lot of pressure on you. This will be a Death Rite Shaman activation. It will remove Besage to generate some blue mana for Ingram to cast a Ponder. So we will take a look at the top three cards. There is another Ponder, a Thoughts he's in a Death Rite Shaman. So Peter will take a look here, see how he wants to set things up. He can certainly make it so that his Delver does flip on the next turn. But you know, he wants to get busy here. He wants to work on getting Mize dead pretty quickly before Mize works his way into trying to resolve another show and tell. Yeah, so. Peter has not made his land drop yet. We do know he has one from that days. And there's the C, and now here's a thought C's. How many more show and tells? And Logan had the reload. So a great thought C's by Ingram. And that was the combination of cards that Logan really couldn't play around, was that if he had the Days and the Thought Seize, I think Logan knew he was going to die to it. And it looks like that's what's going to happen. He's going to have to top deck another Show and Tell. Yeah, show and Tell number two has been taken. You see the hand there, not very good. Two copies of Omniscience and just a couple of lands, and Ingram can confidently pass the turn back. Mize will draw a card. It's another copy of Poseidon. But in order for him to play that, he has got to lose the City of Traders. Yeah, I mean, so what he'd have to do is cast, is play Poseidon and hope to draw two running spells, so it'd have to be... We'd have to draw show and tell. He, he'd have to win two turns down the road. Yeah. But the problem is, even if he gets Omniscience into play, that doesn't win right now. He Not yet, he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anything. So, he, yeah, he'd have to draw uh, a running show and tell plus either Emrakul or Cunning Wish or Intuition. Well, let's not forget that Pesaju. You. you gotta pay two life to use that thing. And that could actually come up, as now Delver Secrets is flipping into Insectile Aberration. So, you know, the clock is on here, as Ingram's gonna reveal the Brainstorm. Yeah, depending on how much damage Logan takes here, that's not a free land. And we're going to consult the grip. Again, he does know the next card down because of Ponder. Right. And he's giving this some thought if he wants to brainstorm. Now, you know, he also has a fetch land in his hand, so he could fetch first and then brainstorm. But it looks like he's just going to lead with a brainstorm. So three cards coming. Deathrite Shaman is number one. I believe number two was Wasteland. Number three is a mystery, but he will put two cards back before moving forward. Well, Wasteland should be good enough to win because right now Logan's on a double out. He needs biz, you know, he needs combo card plus show and tell as his two draws. If you Wasteland him, then his only he'd need combo card plus show and tell plus two mana land, and that's three cards with two draws, some, something that Logan can't do. So Wasteland it would be good enough to lock out the game. He will sacrifice a Delta. Down to 17 goes Ingram, so makes it a perfect brainstorm. Gets himself a tropical island. We'll see where he wants to move after this. Now, if you're Peter, you're probably feeling in pretty good shape. You know your opponent's hand. Oh, you're great. Yeah, your opponent had two shots, and you got them both. 
and you've got a pretty nice clock out there between Death Right Shaman and Insectile Aberration. Now it's just time to close the game out. And now he's going to add a Dark Confidant to the battlefield as well. So Peter Ingram is in the driver's seat right now as he does attack for three. Well, he Maya's just... going to go to 15. Yeah, he just needs to find a counterspell or a Wasteland to close off the game. Intuition was the draw for Logan, so his, his outers, his outs still work here mm -hmm. uh, because if he draws show and tell, he should be able to go off here. Delver Secrets is the reveal to Dark Confidant. That one doesn't matter too much as Ingram goes down to 16. Ingram is just looking for a sort of permission spell, be it, you know, reactive or proactive. Right. That'll, that'll all work. Now, a counter spell, actually, counter spell is great right now because there's Besaju out there. He'd want a Wasteland or a Thought Seize. Yep. Those would be the things he's looking for. So he, Logan's on a two-outer this, this next turn, to be fair. He drew, he did draw half of what he needed, so that was good. I think I'm going to figure out what's the best way to attack here. Am I going to get it with my Death Red Shaman or maybe use that for the Drain activation? It will be an attack here for six. So Mice is going to go down to nine. That is a Delver. This is another Delver, and that's a passing of the turn. So if you're Logan Mize, now is a great time to draw show and tell. Oh, it's the only time. This is two outer, <laughs> two outer, let's go. And it that does not look does like not one. not look like it. That's a good, oh, okay, okay we have redraws. We have a redraw, sweet. Two, two more death rates. Coast is clear. It's a sweat. Let's see what he finds. This is a preordain. That, that, that takes it away. Yeah, that, I think that, that takes it away. It. Oh, no, was, was that show and tell on top, top? I think the top two cards were show and tell. Oh, but, no, he's not going to get there. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, he was there. It was the next one down. Yeah, and you can see the way he's kind of holding his hand, saying, man, uh, I just need to draw get, stuff. How do I get this in my hand and <laughs> cast it right now? <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I think the door is closed. I think he's on a no for now. I don't know what it would be. I don't think he has one. I don't think he had a two-mana land. A two-mana land in hand doesn't work anyway. He needs blue. Yeah, he needs blue mana to, to work it through Besaju. I think it's come to that realization, and he does. Peter Ingram is going to win this match over Logan Mize, two games to one. Bug Delver taking down Omnitel. And for Ingram, Grand Prix Miami top eight competitor, he starts off his tournament at 3-0, so a good start for him. Yeah, a good start for him. I think I really like the way that Logan has taken the Omnitel deck, taking the Enter the Infinite aspect out of it. He's made it a little more, I mean, it's still a three-card combo deck as opposed to Sneak and Show, which tends to be a two-card combo. But I, I, I like that he has allowed himself to have Lotus Petals in the deck because that's one of the things that Sneak and Show had that gave it a lot more explosive power. And it's actually been one of the big things that Omnitel has had to sacrifice in not playing, you know, in that list. So I think that's been pretty good. Going over, yeah, he just tries to win. He has full four Emrakuls in play, which gives him additional nut draws in the terms of show and tell him to Emrakul, because before there was only one Emrakul in Omnitel.